In this quick tutorial, we're going to learn how to connect our brokerage accounts to the TradingView platform. This is going to allow us to place trades directly within TradingView rather than being forced to hop back and forth between our multiple different platforms. Now, if you don't have a TradingView account yet, I would really recommend you give them a try. I've personally been using Thinkorswim charts for years, but I really do think TradingView has them beat. The only downside being that it is a paid for platform with a few different plans, but if you use my link in the comments, you can give it a try completely free for 30 days. But like I said, today we're just going to learn how to connect our TradingView account to one of my current brokers so I can place trades directly within here. We're going to be specifically connecting to my interactive brokers account in today's video, but the process is essentially the same for every single broker. Now, jumping right into it, you're gonna first notice I already have a trading view chart pulled up and I am currently looking at a chart for American Airlines. In order for us to pull up the list of available brokers we can connect to, we are first gonna have to look at the very bottom of the screen and find the little button mark trading panel. Once we go ahead and click on it, that is gonna open up a panel of a few of the brokers that we can connect to, including the interactive brokers platform over here on the right hand side. Now looking through here, you can see there are quite a few brokers that we can connect to. And if we scroll down even further, you're gonna notice that it includes even little tiny brokers that many of us might've never heard of. Now, unfortunately at the moment, some of the most popular brokers out there don't yet have an integration with TradingView. So at the time of this video, you can't connect to brokers like TD Ameritrade, Fidelity, or E-Trade. But luckily for me, I do have an interactive brokers account. So we're gonna come back up to the top Go ahead and find that little interactive brokers icon over here on the right hand side and simply hit that blue connect button. You'll then notice a little pop up window comes up right up here at the top and we just have to confirm that we do in fact want to connect with this broker and since I do, we're going to go ahead and hit continue. It'll then take me to a brand new page and in this case it is the interactive brokers login screen. So I got to enter my login information, my user ID, my password, and then I got to hit the login button right below that. For me, it then had me verify myself on my phone with a little push notification, and then I had to sign my first and last name and then verify that I agreed to all the terms and agreements with the connection. But then after that, it did redirect me back to the TradingView platform. And now at the very bottom of the screen where we before saw the trading panel, you can now see I've got the interactive brokers account linked up right here. So right here, it does say I've got the interactive brokers platform selected. It even says my account information right below here on this line down below. And if I look towards the right hand side, it even tells me the total value of this account. So in this case, my interactive brokers account is worth $100. Then to the right of that, I can even see how much buying power I currently have. So I've got about 100 bucks to spend as of right now. Looking below that account information, I can also see my current open positions in this account, as well as the open orders if I had any, my account summary, and my notification log. But now that we do have the accounts linked up, what that'll allow me to do now is actually place a trade directly from TradingView, and that's going to go through my interactive broker's account. So just as an example, so you see what it looks like if we were to come up here to my American Airlines chart, and we're going to come over here and hit the little plus sign on the right hand side. That'll then bring up a little pop-up window and I can come over here to the left and select create a new order. That's gonna be one way to bring up this little trading panel, but I could have also come over here to the far right hand side and click this little trading icon. And now that I've got that popped up, I can come up here and set my actual order parameters. And in this case, let's say I wanted to buy one share of American Airlines at $11 a share. I don't wanna buy 100 shares, I only wanna buy one. So let's adjust that down. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as a day order only and I don't want it good for the after hour, so I'm gonna leave this be. And now that I'm happy with all that, we'll just come down here and hit buy one share of AAL at $11. It'll then give me a little order confirmation screen just to make sure everything looks right. And since it does, I'm gonna come down here and hit send order. Now that that's done, I can actually see the order has been placed. So right up here on the chart itself, I can see I've got an open order to buy that one share of American Airlines at $11. If I were to come down below to the trading panel and click on the orders tab, I can also see that open order to buy the one share of American Airlines right here as well. Now you can link additional brokerage accounts if you've got more than one. And in order to do that, you would simply come up here to where it says Interactive Brokers Live. Go ahead and click on that. Then down below, you would simply come down and click on the button that says, see the broker list. 
It'll take you back to the trading panel screen that we saw before, and then you would just find the other brokers that you wanted to connect and go through the connection process once again. Now, just to give you some peace of mind, if we were to go over to my Interactive Brokers platform and get logged in for a second. Now that I'm within my Interactive Brokers platform, if I were to look down here below to my orders page, you can actually see that open working order to buy that share of American Airlines right here. So the order that I place on TradingView got routed through my Interactive Brokers platform. So hopefully that helps and you all feel a lot more comfortable with the entire process of connecting accounts to TradingView. If you do still have questions, please let me know down below and consider checking out this video next. You might find it helpful. But that's it for now. Have a great rest of your week, everyone, and I'll see you on the next one.